Look, I gotta talk on my shit again. And it's funny because I'm showing you all my cars, but I'm gonna just blur this one out because y'all can't see it. Look, show it on screen. Look, you can't see it. Show this one too. All right, so we went out of our way. We took like the past week. I can't see nothing, by the way. We went out of our way and we took the past week to fix this Q50. We got the water pump and the coolant leak situated. Now we're just waiting on a few things to come in to dial in the car to make sure that we could get it on the dyno. Now I'm worried about my Z. There we go. This Z is, uh, we, we got some stuff coming for it that I really don't want to show you guys right now and I have a rear main seal leak that won't work for the application that I need. So we need to fix that before we do anything to this car and a rear main seal involves dropping the transmission which I've already done on this car. It's not that hard. We have a table jack now so it makes life a lot easier and we're just going to install a new part, play with a little more silicone and call it a day. So I got to pull this in and Oh. oh wait, I need keys. I gotta hurry because I don't want it to get hot. Uh. So yeah, that's how you take apart the interior. Simple. Well, I made it look simple, but yeah, it's simple. I've got the transmission completely disconnected. Completely disconnected from the engine. Thanks to Buster Chris and my baby, where are you? Hi. Hi. All right, but uh, we're gonna get this off the table jack. This just made it so much easier to be able to work with. I was not really struggling at all with this thing. So that was awesome. Only 200 bucks at like Harbor Freight, so. And notice, yeah, my transmission mount is blown. I wonder who offers a good one. Look at that. It's that easy, man. It's done. Transmission off. That took me, what, an hour or so? Four. Well, Shout out to Z1 Motorsports for hooking me up with this clutch. The one who actually hooked me up with this clutch is actually Enthusiast POV. So huge shout out to him. I'll put his link in the description below to his channel. He also owns a supercharged VQ37. This is arguably one of the lightest clutches that Z1 has to offer. It's a street pro clutch with the unsprung full face. And yes, I know I'm gonna have to get rid of it, but for the time being, uh, it was just a really good clutch as a daily driver. I have the same exact clutch in Ali's car and she really likes it, so I'm gonna put that one as a spare for Ali's car because she's not gonna be making as much power as this car or beating on it as much. So uh, she's gonna go ahead and get a lighter clutch. Alright guys, so we kind of just cleaned up the shop yesterday, gave up a little bit, and I wanted to pay more close attention to the clutch just to see if there was any wear on it. So, 
put the trans to the side and we just decided to wait till the next day, which is today. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna inspect the clutch a little bit. I kind of wanted to go out and get a torque wrench because, because I'm used to tightening down the clutch with just an impact and uh, the more that I read into it, that's actually really not good, so. I'm gonna take off the, oof. I'm gonna take off the clutch with an impact and then we're gonna inspect it and then we might go out to Home Depot later because my Milwaukee impact is acting, is acting kind of funky. It's smoking out the battery and it's just, it's smoking and you know, I might as well take the time to replace it and go ahead and get a torque wrench, so. Kind of a busy day today, kind of not. We're just kind of hoping that we could get this Z back on the road. That way we can start working on the Q50 a little more. You guys didn't ask me like what the whole deal was. We promised that we were gonna get another car uh, and we didn't. So, one thing that I wanna point out to you guys, I don't know if you noticed, but the reason why I wanted to go get a torque wrench is because you guys see that each time I pull out one of these bolts, these pins start to move and they start to adjust. And the reason for that being is because what these bolts do is they actually hold down this pressure plate. Now, if one bolt is torqued more than the other, it'll actually pivot more to one side, depending on which bolt is torqued down more. So if you have each and every one of these bolts torqued down to the correct spec, and I understand that's pretty annoying to do with the whole entire car, but if we're just working with the clutch and we just wanna make sure that this is lined up and balanced, it's worth it. Oh my God, it worked! Oh my god, it worked! Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. That's awesome. Did you explain the process to the camera? I will in a second after I go crazy. Leave. Yeah. At all. That this worked. Yeah. Lilla! Talking. So, I don't know if you guys know about the bread method, but it's one of like the most ghettoest ways to take a pilot bearing out. And we tried this on Ali's automatic pilot bearing and we were struggling really hard. But man apparently the manual pilot bearings are a little easier to take out. So, as you see, I got a half inch extension, really expensive, healthy bread, and we just shoved it into the pilot bearing slot. Uh, really hit it really really hard with a dead blow mallet and it came out so I guess the bread like pressurizes it almost turns into a solid and as you're hitting it it forces the pilot bearing out because as bread is trying to fill up the space it pushes the pilot bearing out in the opposite direction so yeah. there it is it's a lot of bread but there it is that's an old pilot bearing so the reason why I took this out, can you see it, Allie? There's like this weird notch right there. Is that what you said, the dent? Yeah, it's like a weird dent. And pilot bearing is supposed to be completely flat and it does show up on camera. Yeah. There's a weird notch there. So what's cool is on the Rodnock 350Z that we got a, out of Allie's black 350Z, which is right behind us, Allie, if you don't mind showing. There's a brand new pilot bearing in there that Rob had. So uh, I put the spare brand new pilot bearing in Ali's car and I thought I would have to go buy a new one. But what's cool is I just called Rob and that's actually brand new with maybe like 50 miles on it. So that's really cool. Now that we can go ahead and replace this with a brand new one, which I like doing that. <laughs> Imagine if they had bread. <laughs> Nissan bread? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to waste the slice for this picture. It's worth it though. Pilla! Nastiest dog I've ever met. Eating the dirty bread off my floor.
All right, so it's been two and a half hours since we've been working on the silicone. I got Ali under there right now because I'm just tired. Uh, we should be getting to bare metal so far. So once we get there, we'll be able to take the brand new, wherever that is right here. We'll be able to take the brand new uh, rear main seal. I might actually have Ali lay silicone on this and she's never had before. Nissan OEM liquid gasket. This stuff is like the shit. This is the new rear main seal. You guys got to remember there's like a metal ring in there that you guys got to keep in the seal. It keeps the shape of the seal. Now you just want to follow the tracks, stay under where the bolts go. You could either one lay one solid bead. So you bead. go on these little ridges, the tracks you said? Yeah. You could either lay one solid bead. What I like to do is touch, 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 touch. Alright, so change of plans. We got the rear main seal in, which is really cool, but as I was talking to a few friends, we figured out that with what we're trying to do with this car, the specific clutch that we actually swapped in a couple of videos ago, not even putting maybe 300 miles on the car, already has to come out. If you guys don't know, it's actually a full face unsprung Z1 Street Pro clutch, and this is the pressure plate from it. Now, not that there's any problem with this specific clutch, it's just the fact that for the application that we're trying to run on this car, which you guys don't know yet because we're still focused on the Q and we're still trying to fix that up and get that back on the dyno. With that said, this specific clutch setup is not going to work. It's just going to go straight to the moon. So I put it on a post out on Instagram being that it's really late on a Monday night, hoping that one of my friends at Z1 will see it. I'll put their link in the description below just in case you guys are interested in getting any parts from Z1, obviously. Z1 is the one who helped me out with this clutch. Specifically, Enthusiast POV is the one who helped me out with this clutch. I'll put his link in the description below. But Z1 is where I get all my aftermarket parts and OEM parts for my 350Z. If you guys are interested in getting any Nissan or Infiniti parts, go ahead and check out Z1 Motorsports below. They're the ones that I'm gonna go to to talk about the specific clutch specs that we want for this 350Z. And hopefully we could get it within the next day or two. Usually if I'm like really adamant about how fast I need it, they usually get it out to me within either the next day or a day or two after, so. Honestly now it looks like the 350Z is gonna stay on the lift for about a day or two. But that's fine because we could actually dial in the Q50 on the ground. We don't need it to be on the lift anymore. We might as well go ahead and just torque down the rear main seal, close everything up, and call it a day. We're being a little more consistent with our videos lately, so I appreciate every single person who's stuck around for all the videos that we've put out so far. We got some new plans coming for all the cars that we have going on right now. We finally got the Q back up and running. If you haven't checked out the last video, go ahead. Honestly, the Q's probably about to get a lot of YouTube light, so. <laughs> you guys are ready to see that. Make sure you guys subscribe, share with your friends, comment down below, and I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm out. Deuce.